Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Mindset Podcast here with Greg McCoy and Stephen Salmon. Today's topic, put your oxygen mask on first. Take care of yourself. Yeah, you've heard it on every flight you've ever taken. Mm -hmm. If shit goes sideways, put your own oxygen mask on Mm -hmm. first before you take care of the people around you. Mm -hmm. Great advice on a plane or for your mindset taking on everyday life and trying to get to your goals. Absolutely. So it's basically a metaphor for uh, making sure that you take care of yourself first. Um, You can't give what you don't have. You can't pour from an empty cup. Um, If you're in a leadership position, which we all are in some shape or form, somebody's looking up to us. Mm. Um, You've got to do the things that you need to do to take care of you so that you can be your best day in and day out. And so that you've got something to give. Um, You know, we've talked a lot about providing value. Um, If you're tired and run down and out of shape and uh you don't have your shit together you know what what do you have to give the people around you Mm -hmm. that could go any like any facet whether you're applying for your health your mental health your physical health your nutrition your happiness levels you have to put yourself first you know for you to give to others you have to take care of yourself yeah you have to and you can feel um guilty at times yeah. depending on the type of personality you have like some people have no problem with that like yeah. to the point that they're selfish right um and you don't want to go that far mm. um but you can feel guilty um when people need things from you and you have to draw the line sometimes and be like no this is the time i've carved out for me mm-hmm. um because if if you don't take that time for yourself it's uh you're gonna burn out you've gotta you gotta be ahead of it and and carve out some time for yourself um, to give back to yourself, whether that's learning, whether that's getting your workouts in, getting enough sleep, whatever that may, spending time with your family, taking a vacation every now and then, uh, you've got to do things that give you energy, or you're gonna that flame becomes uh, becomes smoke after a while. What are you doing now to make sure that your oxygen mask oxygen mask is put on first? For me, that's yeah. competing. Yeah, like that that drives me. That's I, I love to do it. Um, so I, I carve out two hours a day for my workouts with a workout partner. Mm-hmm. Um, and I make sure I, I do my best. I'm not perfect at it cause things are busy. Right. But mm-hmm. I do my best to stay off my phone during that time and just enjoy, uh, you know, fellowship with a buddy, uh, working out, um, getting it in and then, you know, uh, ride, riding bikes or spending time with uh, my wife or vacations or whatever. And then I, I'm an education junkie. So Um, I love reading and then, you know, I invest in uh, coaching relationships, um, both for business and for personal side that, you know, really, you know, breathe life into me. And Mm -hmm. um, I draw a lot of inspiration from that that, you know, makes its way into into my team and onto these social media posts. I bet you there's a lot of people out there that have this idea of like they get the concept. But like, how does Greg McCoy, how does he package up his day to make sure that he's feeding himself the right stuff? Like he's still doing his work, still taking care of his shit. But like, how do you design your days to where, you know, or you're blocking out your schedule that you're getting an hour of reading a day? Like, well, like, how, like, how do you design your day to make sure that you're actually feeding yourself what you need? Yeah, that's a super great question, and I love hearing about successful people's schedule, right? Because time is the ultimate equalizer. We all have 24 hours a day. Like Jeff Bezos has the same amount of time that I do. Yep. You know, so that's that's always been fascinating to me is what do super successful people, how do they spend their 16 waking hours? Yeah. Um, For me, like what's really been big is establishing a morning routine. So I wake up before anybody in my house. I've got, you know, 30 minutes to an hour where I'll 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 read something from the Bible. Um, I'll write down, you know, I have a kind of a little template I fill in each day, which was like wins from the day before something that i've learned and my three big priorities for the day like if i didn't get anything done but these three things that day would be a win sure um and then you know i've i I do my training session you know mid-morning i'll get my morning work done hit the gym for a little bit and then it's just grind until Mm -hmm. until the evening so those are the two little pockets that i'll carve out Mm -hmm. so i mean you are what you do on a regular basis so Just like anything, you know, you've got to, I think you have to block time for yourself um, or else the the day will take it from you. Yeah, it will. It goes from being a proactive day to a reactive day. Yeah. We talked about that earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know you're kind of going through some of this right now and it seemed, uh, you know, we just cranked out a workout before this podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, you're doing some new things that are breathing some energy into you, which is going to ripple off into 
you know, not only this office, but the, you know, fans and followers of UNN yeah. and sports. No, for me personally, there's, <clears throat> there's, there's things I'm doing again that I've, that I used to do about a decade ago that I'm breathing life back into. And so for me and my schedule is I get up early, get to the office early and I'll do 30 minutes of cardio. And for the first 10 minutes, I just brain dump and I'm dumping all, every thought that I have out into my phone so that I'm making sure that, you know, whatever I need to, deliverables I need to accomplish that day, they're about to get done. And then for the next 20 minutes, I look at my vision board and I just dream of where I want to go for the next couple of years. And so I'm basically just, I'm thinking about, hey, what is that house that I want to buy look like? What does my life look like that I want to live? What does my relationship with my wife want to be like? What are the trips that I want to take? What are the things I want to accomplish? What does my business look like in a couple of years? And so I'm basically just energizing myself and giving myself purpose for that day. And so that all these brain dump ideas that I just had, now there's fuel and fire behind them. And then when I wrap up cardio, I come to my office and I sit down and I prioritize my day and I block it out every 30 minutes. And usually like I was telling you is like, usually I'll have like 10 or 12 things that I want to accomplish and by fucking noon, they're fucking done yeah. and I'm cruising. And so whenever people approach me the rest of the day, I'm positive. I'm, I'm reactive in a positive way. I'm ready to you know, attack their problems that they have and ready to move forward. But that first 30 minutes of that day, just 30 minutes of brain dumping, visualizing and looking at my vision board of where I want to be completely fuels me up for the whole day. It's wild what 30 minutes can do for you. Yeah. And if, if you're listening to this podcast, obviously you're already in the type of mindset mm -hmm. where you're trying to get better. Yeah. Um, and so you probably can relate to like, I'm sure you could spend that 30 minutes answering people's issues. Dude, you if know, I, if it, I walked in the office and just opened my laptop, I could be three hours in the day and feel like I got nothing done just responding to emails. So people yeah. hitting me up for stuff. And so you have to like, and it can be hard. Like you feel like I need to get to these things to take that 30 mm -hmm. minutes. But if you take that 30 minutes over two years, yeah. like it's going to make a big difference in your life and the yeah. people around you Yeah, because nobody wants to deal with you after you probably just got done with that three useless hours of minutia. Yeah. It puts you in a negative space. Yeah. We yeah. use the phrase like when I'm coaching our trainers, um, again, I, I, I drop Brian Kane's name all the time, but I, I borrowed this from him. But um, <clears throat> if you're juiceless, you're useless. And if you're juiceful, you're useful. And so we, that's one of our like mantras is mm -hmm. bring the juice. Bring the you juice. Know, you, when you're with your clients, they, they carve that time out for them. They don't want you to be tired. Yep. You know, they, they're there for the lift. You yep. got to bring the juice. You got to bring the energy. You got to be the best part of their day mm -hmm. every day, Yep. which is a lot of pressure. Yep. So that's like, that's one of our mantras. Um, no bad days. Bring the juice. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, that, that, and that can be applied to sales too. And we have our sales team here and it's, it, look, man, there's no bad days in sales. You're smiling and dialing. Mm -hmm. You got to be on your A game. <laughs> you know, if you want to be snapping necks and cashing checks, you better be smiling and dialing. <laughs> so, well, that's that's it, guys, is make sure that you're taking care of yourself first. Make sure you're per putting yourself first. And, uh, and if you want to uh, fill up everybody else's cup, make sure that your cup is full first. Yeah, it's not selfish. You, you got to do that so that you can give to others. Yep, yep. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.